Well guys, this is it. We're on lockdown. And although it's not as hardcore as Italy's lockdown, which is a complete, complete ban, and that is with a 25,000 euro fine and three months in prison, it's not as hardcore as that over here, but we're getting there. I know Boris Johnson has dragged his feet somewhat, and we've been waiting for him to do this because the numbers are comparable to a lot of the other countries that wasn't listening. And there's a, too much people out there that just un, either think it's a joke or just not taking it seriously. And at some point the government's got to take over and slap everybody on the hand and say, look, get into gear. And I think that's what they've done now. So let me just quickly run over what's been happening with, with today's changes. It's new curbs, including shopping only for basic goods. And there's a ban on gatherings as well, no more than two people. And the police will be given the powers to enforce restrictions, including fines. Now, they haven't talked about the length of the fines. I'm hearing somewhere around five to ten thousand pounds or whatever. But in Italy, it's twenty five thousand. So you've got to put a figure there that's going to deterrent people or break in the structure. If people are not going to be seeing anything that they need to fear, they'll just go out and do the foolishness we've seen where people have get, had gatherings on beaches and stuff like that all over the world you need to lock it down because those people are only thinking about themselves it's selfish they're not thinking about who they're coming into contact with and then when they go home to their families who they're infecting they are they, that type of thing is unfortunately in play in many countries around the world and uh, some countries are suffering because of it and at some point the uk just had to make a decision and it was the right decision to make now it looks like we're in this for three weeks so we're in it for the long haul guys but me personally i think it's going to be longer than that i think that they're going to come back to the table in three weeks time and look at it and see that certain numbers are appearing otherwise if you just go back and doing the same thing that you was doing before you're going to get the dreaded second wave and that's what china at the moment are policing china are policing the fact that things are quieting down and if they just go back to everything at the moment now, they're going to introduce a second wave of infections and it's just going to fire off again. Remember, the flames might be gone, but there's still fire that's breathing underneath. And until the whole thing is extinguished, then you, we cannot go back to any type of normality. For me, honestly speaking, I was thinking that this thing is going to be about three months. And I've been saying that for a while. That That's where we are right now, guys. And... It's about time that we got there. So in regards to football, what we're seeing now with Arsenal, Arsenal have absolutely, they were supposed to go back to training tomorrow on the 24th, and that's not going to happen. They've fallen in line with just about everything else. And the good thing is they're saying, Arsenal are saying that the season is definitely going to finish and that they are definitely going to adhere to the season ticket holders. So in other words, they're not looking to refund any money or anything because we're going to be back at the Emirates. We're going to be finishing the games that we were supposed to finish. The most important thing here is that they've delayed the payment for the new season, whenever that's going to be. But the fact is they've delayed it. Another thing as well, they're talking about the staff. Arsenal are actually going to pay the staff until the, the 30th of April. And then it's, Vinay has said that he'll look at it in May uh, and then he'll judge by then what will happen. So I think on those terms, he's basically saying that they'll review it, and if they need to extend it to the end of May, they will. Initially, they're talking about they're going to be looking after this stuff, which is a good thing. It's something that we needed to hear as a fan base, and it's something that we needed to hear for the people who work in the security, the green team, and also concessions, and also the groundmen, the, you know, the people who work on the, the pitch and everything. That's a, a full-time job. So we really don't know where that's going to be. But regardless of, of any situation there, the team are going to look after everybody. So that's a nice place to be. Things are going to get a lot quiet now, guys. And listen, this is a time where we have to stick together. Well, not stick together, but this is a time where we have to come together as a fan base. And it's a time where we have to dig our heels in as well. And that means we're going to have the support of everybody. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys in regards to social parties, online parties, people streaming Netflix movies and sitting down and watching them online together. Things like that, you know, just to make it fun. Champagne breakfasts online, 
here, you know, I know I got one planned. And listen, we, we're just going to have to come together and get through this. We will get through it, guys. we got to weather the storm, and that's all it's about. And listen, I'm not the biggest Boris Johnson fan, but well done for finally getting off your backside and implementing what needed to be done last week. Look, guys, it's short-term pain for long-term gain here, yeah? We're going to come out of this. So listen, thanks everybody for tuning into this channel. We will not be shutting down. We will not be closing. Still going to be bringing you whatever content I can get my hands on. It might not all be Arsenal related, but it's still going to be something where you guys can listen to and enjoy any updates I can. Listen, right back at you. Keep it real, guys. Look after the people around you and check in on your family, check in on your cousins, check in on your friends. Just ensure that those people are okay and just socially speak to as much people as you can yeah none of this texting texting business pick up the phone and call somebody and listen to a voice and socialize yeah do it on face chat do it on whichever way that you feel is necessary but try and make it more personal rather than just typing into a, a screen yeah i mean we can all do that and unfortunately this is a little bit draconian we're gonna have to go old school and just to do things the old way Okay, speak to you soon, guys. Peace out. Nice one.